Without much hype or awareness, ChatGPT released their new search extension. I think this is trying to compete with Google's Gemini that pops up as an AI overview during some of your searches. I searched in Google, is there an API for WordPress? And I don't know how many have seen this before, but Gemini loads and spits out all this information above the actual search results. Now, this is not going to be good for SEO because there's going to be a small subset of the population who gets their answer here and does not continue down the page to click into each of these websites. I asked, is there an API for WordPress? And Gemini said, yes, WordPress has an application programming interface called the WordPress REST API. It gives me a link source. If I click on it, this right sidebar opens up which appears to be the results that are below the Gemini section. Here's the Jetpack. We have Jetpack right here. But it also summarizes information from these websites. What it does, how it works. Each of these are a different source. How to access it, when it was released. So can ChatGPT search do the same thing? Can it compete with Google? Let's try it out. If you're behind with the ChatGPT updates, they released a new option within their browser app called Search the Web. I'm going to click on this icon. It pops up some trending searches. Let's go Who Won Dancing with the Stars 2024. And ChatGPT is actually going to search the web, come up with a bunch of results. Here we have the sources. You can see it looks a lot like Google's Gemini search. If you hover over each of these sources, you see exactly where it was grabbed from. And then if you click the sources button down here, you get the right citation sidebar, which shows all of the search results. Clicking on your profile in the bottom left corner, we get an option that says get ChatGPT search extension. I'm going to click on it. It takes me to the Chrome Web Store. Not the best rating yet. 3.7. Only 716 people have rated it, but already 900,000 users. In the first screenshot, we see the user writing, what's the weather? They're writing it into the Google search bar, but we see a ChatGPT icon instead. In the next slide, it looks like the ChatGPT interface. I'm wondering what's going on there. I guess it looks a little bit more like Google, how Google displays its web pages. This search is of Simone Biles, and we see a bunch of images up top with the text below it. I'll read through some of these reviews in a second. Let's try it out first. I'm going to add to Chrome. Let's add the extension. I've opened up a new tab. In the search bar, we see search chat GPT or type a URL. So it appears to be installed as my default search engine. I'm going to search what's the weather like today. And it looks like it just opens chat GPT. It appears to be just a shortcut to their browser app. Remember, this is exactly what it looked like earlier. I'm not really sure what the point of this extension is. I can also just type chat GPT and then write what's the weather like today. I even get these extra options in the actual browser. And here we go, it's the exact same results. Let me try it again. I'll type in what were the NBA scores from last night. It quickly opens up the new tab, automatically inputs my search and provides me with a result. All right, that actually felt pretty quick. It definitely saves one step. I don't know if it's worth having it installed at all times. Is that slowing down your browser at all? What if I don't want to use ChatGPT in my search bar? You're kind of forced with all of your searches. I think I like the option to use Google as my default search and then actually go to ChatGPT when I want to use the search the web feature. I think I'm going to uninstall it for now. Let's see what some other users had to say. Perfect. Love it. Google search killer. It's a more intelligent search engine. This user said it would be much better if it adds the option to search in chat GPT instead of replacing Google search. Some searches are best to do with Google and others with chat GPT. I couldn't agree more. I love this comment. I think the functionality itself is almost better than ever. It was truly fantastic. He loves the potential. It will go even further. For Charles, it has replaced Google search. It gives you more of what you're looking for more effectively than Google ever could. 
Let's look at some of the lowest rating reviews. Alex says it installs but does not set the default search engine, does not even add an option to pick the search engine. I did not find that. It automatically installed as my default search engine. For Jerry, it didn't seem to work. I don't think that's a fair review. It did work for me. Tier says I'm all for ChatGPT and I want ChatGPT search to be the next big thing, but this is bad. It's currently down right now after release, making my browser limited to finding any information from the internet without typing google.com. I did get email notification that ChatGPT was down. This user wrote this on November 25th, but since then it is up. I don't think this is a good review about the overall usefulness of the product, but I can see how it's an issue. When ChatGPT isn't working, your search bar is pretty much deactivated because it defaults to ChatGPT. We know that Google is never down, so it's a risk in productivity that you have to take. This user writes that it suffers from efficiency and performance, a similar complaint to the one above it. And Arvin said the exact same thing I did. It just opens up a new conversation. I actually think 3.7 out of 5 is a fair rating. That's probably pretty close to what I'd rate it. I'd give it a 3.5. It doesn't seem like it's anything special, and this is probably why I didn't see it advertised or talked about a lot online. For now, I'm just going to go to chatgpt.com when I want to use the app and use Google for all of my regular searches. If you're looking for a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your business or company, check out youraiagent.com. This is a web app that I've personally built. And we currently have 16 different AI agents, everything from auto blogging to chatbots, AI email support, posting hourly news on LinkedIn or Twitter, Reddit bots, Amazon affiliate bots, Tumblr and Twitter bots, and YouTube comment responders. I have a large video playlist on my channel. If you want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own AI agents, and turn it into a profitable web app. Check out my online course, How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.